In this video, I'll talk briefly about the distinction between a frame pointer versus a stack pointer when implementing local variables. So let's let's ask ourselves what would happen if I was working on the stack and I have some local variables. So maybe I pushed a few things. These are my my pushes of uh, pushes uh, relevant to uh, to R four and R eleven that I'm saving. Whatever whatever I pushed, I push them here, and then I've allocated my locals here. Local variables here and the local variables let's assume for now there are the three local variables let's call that x y and z uh, and i have three local variables for now we'll just keep them simple and they're all 32 bits let's say and right now the stack pointer is pointing right here this is the stack pointer so everything will work fine if i was simply accessing the stack pointer, uh, these local variables relative to the stack point. But every so often, we may want to use the stack for other purposes, to some push and pop things for whatever um, our data structure, uh, our logic calls for. Say I pushed a couple of things in, in my code. So if you want to look at a template of our code, our code looked like this, this is our function. Um, we we allocated here, we, uh, we initialized here, and we're gonna be accessing here, and accesses are all using the stack pointer, stack pointer relative addressing. And so we access it. But let's assume that I did a push somewhere here of some uh, value, some, there was some register that I, that I calculated, maybe it has uh, register R1, let's say, um, I pushed it. So now what's going to happen is I would have pushed a value here. So this is some, some temporary value that I've calculated. Now, as soon as I do that, all accesses, if I want to access X right now, any access after this, so access to X, Y, and Z will have to be aware of the fact that the stack pointer has moved up here, so the bindings are all messed up. So the bindings are off. Off at this point. At this point, as soon as you push that, the bindings are off. So if you did something like LDR, R, uh, some register R5, let's say, uh, with a stack pointer and pound X, and obviously x e has a binding of zero. Um, and right now, if you do a binding of zero, you'll get this, this value that was pushed rather than the value of x. So there's a risk of uh, getting it wrong. So what we do is we, we can overcome this problem by using this concept of a frame pointer. So we use, we use a, frame pointer and the idea of we just pick an arbitrary uh, register let's say r11 is what is customary in the book and and we just uh, try to keep it simple so let's say we use r11 as a frame pointer so what we're going to do is when we after our allocation once we finish our allocation at the allocation step we will copy whatever is in the stack pointer. We will move whatever is in the stack pointer into our frame pointer. And our frame pointer could, I could just make my frame pointer uh, RN11 if I want to, or I could just say R11, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use my frame pointer that way. So I'll copy it so that any pushes after that will not be affected and all access is now relative to the frame pointer. So this will also be relative to the frame pointer and now this is correct because relative to the frame pointer which is pointing here, the stack pointer has moved on so the 
pointer has moved up here, but the frame pointer is where it was. So all accesses will still be valid. And this, this makes our code be more, uh, more capable of, uh, of relieving the use of the stack uh, and, and so that the uh, programmer can, can save things on the stack um, without having to worry about the local variables uh, that, they, that were previously allocated and the bindings going wrong.